Yes, I am a certified high conflict divorce and custody consultant, but I also have a paralegal and business background as well. How to get you started on documenting or starting over on documenting because maybe you didn't know it was abuse or maybe you just don't know how to get started. But maybe you don't have the pictures or text messages because you had a very sneaky abuser. Part three is going to be adding in the statements of others. Now this could be a lot of things, so let's dive into that together. Let's break it down into category A and category B of adding in others. The ones that I highly encourage clients to have are those of experts. To break this down a little bit more, let's put it in category A and category B, both of which will cover outside parties. Category A are the ones that I typically encourage my clients to include. Category B is going to be your friends and family and anyone who actually witnessed the abuse. Since that could be for friends, family, doctors, teachers, etc. However, it is key for you to show a pattern of behavior of this person, that this was not an incident that happened just six months ago for one time. Your written statements, your testimony, the witnesses, your pictures, and all of your evidence show a chronological order that paints your abuser out to be an abuser, not someone that just made an oopsie daisy mistake. And here's the thing, abusers are so good at conditioning you that they probably will have you out here believing it's not actually abuse. 